The Thermal Fluid Aerosciences Group solved some of the most challenging and critical problems to Sandia's national deterrent and national security missions. We bring together our modeling and simulation and experimental capabilities to understand the physics that drive these problems. Our experimental capabilities are used to perform some of the world's leading research in aerodynamic shock physics and material characterization. Please join us as we introduce some of our experimental capabilities and the people that make it possible. The niche that we've carved out for ourselves within the larger national wind tunnel community is our combination of advanced laser-based diagnostics with the wind tunnel capability and the aerodynamic measurements that we make within them. We test things ranging from missiles, the gravity bombs, rockets, re-entry vehicles, next generation hypersonic vehicles, and for that we need the higher Mach numbers and higher velocities reaching speeds as high as 1,000 meters per second or about 2,000 miles an hour. We can do subsonic, transonic, and supersonic testing here. About 20 feet away from me we can do hypersonic testing. And then about 40 feet away from me, we have another facility which can do flight replication of hypersonic high enthalpy flow. So in one building, we can span the entire speed and temperature regime. This is our hypersonic wind tunnel at Sandia. And so we use it to generate high Mach number flows of Mach 5, 8, or 14, and to create representative aerodynamics that you might see on flight in the wind tunnel so that we can study them with our diagnostics. We can generate shock waves in this facility um, that travel at Mach 20, or 20 times the speed of sound. So to give you an idea of how fast that is, um, you could get from New York to LA in about 10 minutes at Mach 20. To give you an idea of what type of temperatures we can reach in this facility, we've reached temperatures of over 12,000 degrees centigrade, so that's twice the surface temperature of the sun. Measurements in these types of facilities are quite challenging and it's quite a unique environment that we can replicate here. This lab uh, addresses some of the hardest problems in hypersonic flows, which are currently an emerging area of great interest to the nation. We do some of the world's leading measurements and detonations, which feed into both interest in the Department of Energy as well as the Department of Defense. Then we also do a lot of high fidelity measurements necessary to validate the models within the Department of Energy. We study all kinds of extreme environments, explosives, hypersonics, combustion. We use some of the world's fastest cameras. These might take images up to 10 million frames a second. We use some of the world's shortest pulse duration lasers that might be on only for 100 femtoseconds. That's 100 times 10 to the minus 15 seconds. And we use some of the world's most high-powered X-ray systems and some of the world's fastest wind tunnel experiments that might go all the way up to Mach 14 or even higher. The nation faces a lot of challenges, uh, especially in the national defense. And those challenges are difficult to model and predict. And what we do here is we derive the fundamental experimental understanding of those phenomena so that we can verify the accuracy of our solutions to these national security problems. We do materials characterization to help understand how the internal structure of materials affects their performance in a variety of environments with a specialty really on energy storage, so capacitors, thermoelectric generators, and batteries. We do a lot of work on polymers. I think that's our mainstay, but we have done work on molten metals. I've done mechanical testing of lithium ion battery components. We're still doing work on glass ceramics and glasses used for sealing applications, and those are conditions up to 900 degrees centigrade. The breadth of applications really gives us a broader perspective on material properties than you would get, I think, in, in many other situations. So I've had the opportunity to work with energy storage, uh, the nuclear deterrence mission, uh, homeland security, basically any of the um, areas of the lab that need that expertise in materials characterization. Our working group 
is fantastic. Um, they're all really smart. They're all really good at what they do. And there's real magic in bringing different expertise together in a way that lets you build a team and solve a problem that you could tackle yourself. The expertise in solid mechanics, laser diagnostics, uh, x-ray diagnostics, and wind tunnel operations. I am aware of very few other labs, certainly in the nation and across the world, that combine all those expertise within one building. And then you add to that the tremendous experimental hardware that we have here. It's really a great collaborative environment where we get to work together every day to solve these coupled multi-physics problems and address things that uh, no one else in the world is doing.